Hi, it's Pastor Will from the Rio Texas Media Center and PastorWill.net. Today we're going to look at how to adjust the navigation on your Squarespace website. All right, so here I am on my Squarespace page and I am at the main menu. I'm gonna click on that Pages Manager button. Okay, so the navigation bar on our website is right here at the top. You can see the list of items that we have in navigation and here's where we can adjust them right here under main navigation anything that shows up here is going to show up on your navigation bar and it's going to show up in the order that it's listed here so say for instance that we really want our about us navigation link to be uh, right next to the home navigation link we just come over here we're going to click on that and we're going to drag that up right there and now you can see that it has moved all right now if we have something up here that we don't want up here anymore for instance style guide when your site goes live you don't want everybody seeing the style guide that's just for you so you can take that off the navigation bar same way you're just gonna go and click and grab style guide and now you're gonna drag it down to your not linked section this not link section isn't going to show up on the navigation bar. That means the order down here doesn't really matter. So what I like to do is actually put these in a convenient order for me. I always keep the ones I use the most close to the top. So now we've uh, reordered those and moved some of them. Now let's remember something about folders. When we have a drop down menu here, that is in a folder. And you can see that right here with the beliefs page uh, is underneath the about us page. It's pretty easy to move things in and out of folders. If I wanted the I am new page, for instance, inside the beliefs folder, I would just click that and then drag it up until it's in the folder. It's just as easy to move out of the folder as well. And if I want a new folder, if I say I want uh, this I'm new to have several sections, I see that sometimes on websites, what I could do is right up here, I click on this plus symbol. And now instead of making a page, I'm going to make a folder. And I'll name that folder new stuff, for instance. And there it is. And now if I wanted to put I'm new in there, I would just drag that in. If I wanted to drag plan your visit up there. Now those fall as a drop down under new stuff. One last thing, if your navigation uh, gets a little crowded up there, you can choose to not have your home button up here. Let me show what I'm talking about. I can take my home page and move it to the not linked section. Now it's gone from the menu, but people will still have a way to get home. They'll just need to click on your logo. That will take them back to the home page. I go to I'm new. Now I click here and I am back to the home page. Okay, one more thing I want to show you about navigation, and that is remembering how to adjust the style and font size. I'm going to click on design, and then I'm going to click on style editor. And as I scroll down, I will see that there's a whole section here for my navigation. I can change the navigation background color if I like. If I do, I want to make sure I change my font color as well so I can see it. I can also um, adjust the font of my navigation. We're going to change it to this one right here. And once I do that, I can also adjust the uh, italic or non-italic of it. I can adjust the size of the font. If I make it too big, it'll extend uh, onto some other lines. I can adjust the letter spacing if I want it to be wider or more narrow. I can transform it, make it all uppercase, lowercase, capitalize it all, or, or have uh, no um, text transformation on there if I want it to be as I typed it. I can also adjust the uh, navigation spacing, how much space there is above and below. I can adjust the color, not only of the navigation, but also the color it'll be when I hover over it, and also the color of the active link, which will show me the color of, uh, of any link page that I am on. On this page, I can also adjust the height of my logo if I want to make that larger or smaller, and I can adjust the alignment of where that navigation and logo are going to sit. 
That's it, just some of the things you can do with your navigation bar and how to keep that adjusted on your Squarespace website. Check out the rest of the channel for more how-to tutorials about Squarespace websites for churches and for more ways you can leverage technology to reach your community and mission field. Check out riotexas.org media or pastorwill.net.